A historic part of Fayetteville is getting a new lease on life. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jennifer Pignate. KNWA's Katie Davila has a look at the transformation of the eight acres from a long-standing co-op to a new housing, retail, and entertainment district. This area off of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in School Road has been owned by the Fayetteville Co-op for almost 20 years. Now it has new owners. We know this place has been a crossroads in Northwest Arkansas for a long time and uh, we intend to just build on that heritage. These old railroad buildings will soon see new life while keeping history intact. The more that we started to look for those buildings, the more in love with them we fell because there are features in there like old wooden posts that are 12 inches square. You can't even buy a post like that if you wanted to today. With over 200 new apartments, retail and entertainment spaces. The specialized real estate group says they want to make South Fayetteville inviting for everyone, but the growth in the area may come at a cost. We do need some area that's less expensive for people to be able to live, and there's all areas of growth that we need, but we do need some less expensive housing. Residents say the growth is welcome, but they hope it doesn't push people out of the housing market. I used to live in South Fayetteville, and I feel like it's becoming more hectic over this way. Um, used to, it was kind of the lesser overrun with people, and so, yeah, I do think there's a big change coming on this side of town. We know that just by the virtue of adding more housing to the market, that, that helps to combat uh, the pressure that the market is feeling to continually raise the price of housing that we're all feeling. Despite some challenges that may occur in the area like heavy traffic, the group hopes to create a booming and welcoming neighborhood. So we hope people will ride in, walk in, and um, enjoy what's there. In Fayetteville, Katie DeVilla, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.